Hey, what's up? Welcome back to Daily Driven Exotics. What's up, guys? This looks good. So today, we're starting the process of wrapping the Huracan. Can't wait to show you guys all the little bits and pieces that are gonna come together. They're even gonna let me take the reins. I don't know if it's a good idea or not. They obviously have a lot of material. They're gonna let me wrap the, the hood, was it, right? Yeah, the hood. I've never wrapped anything before in my life, so. Top of the roof done already. Can you believe how low the roof is? And to think the car is up right now. I mean, the front's lifted. But check this out. That basically comes just above my hip. Gonna clean under the front lid. So how many hours do you guys spend, so the people know, let's say in uh, kind of, not really detailing the car, but cleaning it up so it's prepped and ready for a wrap. If it comes in filthy, we run it through a car wash first. It really helps. Anywhere between two hours to a full day. Really? It depends that it has lots of glue on it, so. What do you use to remove glue? I use 99% alcohol. It evaporates quick and doesn't leave any grease behind like some other industrial products. How, how bad was this? I, I couldn't tell. It's pretty bad. Was it? Anywhere is where it was primer, it was completely covered. Covered in glue? The red, not so bad. See, to me, I couldn't tell. It didn't look that bad. I'm gonna attempt. No, I'm, just, I'm gonna get it done. I'm gonna get it done. I need to instill a little confidence in myself here. I'm gonna wrap the hood, the frunk lid. This is, this is such a bad idea. That would suck having to reprint this whole front. Man, that color looks amazing. Oh, yeah. You, you guys nailed it. So you could just magnet it into position, flip it over, kind of do half at a time if you want to. Oh, but you have yours. Magnets. So like you could place a magnet to hold this. Yeah, but yours is plastic, so they just slide right off. So we had to do it the hard way with some tape. Oh, I think we're good to go if you want to give All it a right. try. So what's step one? Step one, make sure your work surface is clean, hands are clean, dust-free environment, <laughs> good to go. Yeah. Uh, what we're going to do is rip the tape on all the points. Yeah. There's lots of bleed on the print, so we're not actually gonna need that material, but we are gonna use the tape to help line it up. Okay. So we just tear it on the tape. And these are gonna be like little registration marks. Oh. We can make it easy on you and just do half of it at a time. Okay. Put that and peel it. All right. Just make sure it doesn't want to crease like that. this underneath yeah. and you can it does have some repositionability so yeah bang on bang on yeah you can stick it to make sure it's not going to go anywhere yeah that's good that's yeah. good and then you pull this out yeah Just kinda, you don't want to reef on it but yeah. you can kind of lift it up and shake it <laughs> I've done so much. <laughs> I like it. It's like a lesson though. It's crazy. Yeah. Now I'm just gonna lift it up to try to get this little pucker. So you want to really get everything from the center. Yeah, the you, you, wanna, you wanna work from the center out. Right. And you wanna work in as big of a piece as you are comfortable with. Right in the center, get it down. I like doing the text first. So yeah. if you do have to stretch it, you're not distorting the important letters stuff. and stuff. Yeah. Try to keep this line going. You don't want to do like crescent shapes. So yeah. You want to keep going up and down. Man, you, this like seems like the easiest surface to wrap, but it's, it's like every little thing is so important. I, I can only imagine how slow this is. So stressful. <laughs> Jason's <Jace is> laughing. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> we'll let the professional hit the, the hard the hard parts. Yeah. A torch. A it always wants to go back to its original shape. Yeah. So you see how my finger is trying to lift it up for that? Yeah, yeah. Well, this is his. Tricks to the trade here, guys. So what are you guys dreading the most? The mirrors? The mirrors have to be one of the hardest because of yeah, just the, all the angles. The mirrors are usually pretty tough on most vehicles. Um, yours aren't too bad. So if we have to, we Seen can it. cheat. Yeah. yeah. 
we'll just have the overlaps the right way so the rain runs down. And just looking at it, we could do this section yeah. as one piece without any stress to the material. Right. And instead of trying to take it around, and now you've got all this extra material that what are you going to do with? Yeah. We can cut Seam it at. here and do the top piece over. Seam it down. That so, sounds like a good idea. Actually, these aren't too bad. I'd say where Hunter is working right now on the bumper. It's one of the hardest. It's one of the hardest. Let's go look. How's it going? It's going. <laughs> it's going. It's going. Your bumper, I do not like. Not the like. But when done, it'll be sexy time. This is an awful, I'm bad at accents. I want it to be one piece because there's no real easy spot to hide the seams on it. It's right there, right? You look at the Lambo front bumper. Looks like you guys are killing it though. Looks awesome. Dave was pointing out how smashed this is. Look, you guys, it's kind of ironic. They're wrapping a perfectly destroyed bumper, but yeah. <laughs> Uh, this used to come all the way around and then fold under, uh, fold under and come right up to here and it's just completely cut out. They've got good sense of humor around here. They, they put their own touch. We have band-aids, you guys. A couple of band-aids. I think that we should get some printed band-aids and legitimately put them on there forever. It does look like more totally. paint-esque because it's gloss this time. Mm -hmm. The previous wrap was uh, a satin, so in between matte and gloss. It's gonna look so yeah, sick. It's gonna look nice. Can't wait. And the front edges and then Frank's done. That's really cool. Should we give some rap to some of the people watching? Who wants this? Leave a comment. Step a lot of guys skip, and it's one of the most important steps. Right next to making sure it's clean. You post heat it, it melts the vinyl, it makes it forget its original shape, and it gives it a new shape. Oh, because if you weren't to do that, it would try to go back to its original shape. Yeah, it's got a memory. So not only are you going over your work and making sure you got all the air out, but it helps create a stronger bond. The Looks damn good. That's it for here at Graphic Effects today, guys. We got some more projects on the way and we're gonna tell you in the car. Dave brought his M3 down. We have a whole thing planned for that car. They're gonna finish up on the front bumper. We'll be back tomorrow and there's a whole bunch more we're gonna be doing to continue the Lamborghini Huracan project. Big shout out to these guys for letting us in their uh, work environment. It's not easy with a guy with a camera walking around. What do you want? I got a question for you. What do you want? Door jams. Are we doing them this time? I don't know. Do you think we should do them? I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Do you think we should do the door jams this time? I think so. You can pull it off. I don't think so. We'll think about it. I don't think it's worth it. I don't know. Anyhow, you guys comment below. Should we do door jams or no door jams? I liked the red last time. Hunter's now putting this uh, matte carbon wrap onto the hood of this Camaro. Look at how fast he goes. I was not moving that quick. <laughs> Wild. And these guys are working on this huge sign. So remember, if anyone's looking for something from graphic effects, they do signs too. You're a professional rapper now. Is that what my new title can be? Yeah. Damon, professional rapper. <gasps> What's up guys? So we are here at La Turquesa, hands down my favorite Mexican restaurant here in Victoria. Ordered some tacos, a little tortilla soup. We're gonna hit it. Food vlog, it's the first food vlog I've done in a lot of vlogs in a long time. Holy guacamole. 
So I got the Baja shrimp tacos, some of my favorite little splash of hot sauce like this. Mm. So tortillas, it's got a little bit of chicken in there. The food here is just ridiculous. If you're in the Victoria area or you're coming here and you like Mexican, come to La Traquesa. My buddy Scott runs this place. He works super, super hard and he's built three successful locations. So congratulations to him and his wife. How are your, how are your tacos? Muy bueno. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. Is that right? <laughs> no idea what you're just trying to say. Bad tacho. <laughs> Bro, it arrived. I have no idea what's in store for you, buddy. That is a tune cable from our friends at VF Engineering. Yeah. Jay's got a four series, so we're gonna tune it from VF. So this is it? That's it. That's all you need? That's all you need, man. Whoa. That's it, hex tuning. Awesome. Look at that, so look at that. it's even the... branded VF. So we're gonna use this bad boy to tune Jay's car right here. Got an exhaust on it, downpipe. Sounds pretty cool. Okay, tune this thing. You ready? Yeah. I'm excited. Where's your latch? Okay. In the front? Oh, you just pull it up. There's no latch. Dude! Oh. You ever clean your engine? No. <laughs> you hear him? Like a very shameless. No. Okay, guys, so here's the process. Step one you have to uh, use the cable. Attach it to your PC. Jay's gonna plug it into his OBD2 port, plug it into, into the USB on the computer. VF has a website that basically walks you through what you wanna do. And the whole idea here is you're exporting the car software. So every car is specific to your tune. So they're gonna look at all of the files on your car specifically, what it's currently doing, and then they customize that, the tune, Tomorrow they're gonna send us the tune back and we will uh, upload that into Jay's 435i. We got some, what's happening? What are we doing now? Um, so we just gotta email these two, or actually three files back to them. And then- Those are the files from your car? Yeah, from the ECU. Sweet. And then they'll verify it and then we'll go from there. I so he that. said he's gonna send you a stock file oh, back? Yeah a stock file and then also send you a tuned file so you can flip back and forth. Yeah, whatever you need. If you want to get rid of the tune, boom, done like that. So you guys have a timeline. How long has that taken us? Less than 10 minutes to if open that. the box? If that, just so you know, because I know with the editing, it's going to be hard to tell like how much time has gone by while we've been doing this. Less than 10 minutes. We'll bring you guys the update tomorrow when uh, we get the files back. Why don't we work on your car now? What are we doing to your car, Dave? Oh man, there's a big list of stuff to get done, but I think today we'll do suspension work. What? <laughs> suspension work? What do you mean? What are you doing? So this car came with a, uh, a coilover system that I think is dead. I think that shocks are gone, so. We're literally gonna rip the back end of that car apart and put all of that stuff that's sitting right over there on the floor back into there. So these struts, yep. spring just ruins this front assembly. So this is gonna be a project car for DD. This is definitely a project car, take a look at it. It's a little sad. <laughs> I currently call it the, the Rolls Royce M. Yeah. Cause you know, you know how Rolls Royces have the big long silver hood? That's what Dave's M3 has, a big silver hood. A little bit of tape. So what are we thinking for this car? New wheels, we'll get some new wheels. New we'll wheels. get some new rubber. Yeah, wheels, tires. Fix up the suspension. Yeah. Um, at some point we need to, pretty common problem with these cars is subframe cracking. We're gonna it's get cracked. it welded. Yeah. We are going to beef up the engine. Yeah. Maybe something with our friends at VF. Maybe. Not sure. And then wrap it. Let's start this project. We'll start the back. Back's the easiest, so we'll get started there. I'm so scared, I don't do any of this shit, you guys. So we're taking out coilovers, and as part of that, come close, you can see that this is the actual adjustment for the springs in the rear. This is the uh, aftermarket spring. So I think we're gonna unbolt this and then see what we get. What's the next steps here, buddy? I had to remove the bottom collar from the, co the coilover. Okay. And by removing that, you can see there's actually that little nub there where the spring will sit. The only downside is we don't have the factory rubber boot that goes down here. So we're gonna have to go metal and metal for a little bit and then just replace it later. <laughs> it's gonna be noisy. <laughs> All right, let's do this. All right, so gotta get the brake back in, or the not brake back in there, the spring back in there. I'm leaving that in. Guys, edit that <laughs> into the video. 
<laughs> Dave calling the spring a break. Foot on there? Mm-hmm. Okay, let go. Sit in. Oh, yeah! Nice. Good job. Woo! One of the only times 230 pounds, I might be lying, maybe 240 pounds came in handy. Ready to strut your stuff? <laughs> Is there left and right on these things? The top's bolted. Now I have to figure out which way to spin the actual. It's probably like this. You think so? Yeah. Because like if you, you look at the camera, there's two sides to that thing. There's one that has a flange. But the bolt would bolt against that. Yeah. So like, like yes, you could. It, yeah, you can see the Yeah, you can see like the lines there. Dave has an idea. Yeah, hey, you're right. We're good. I <laughs> just barely. Yeah. I love the one driver's side rear done. Three more to go. So these cars are super famous for subframe crack, which basically the whole subframe of the car rips apart. And uh, one way to find out is when it fails, this will all be ripped apart. It'll literally be open. You'll see the ground right here and it'll be knocking. It's like, hey, the one time you let Damon drive your car. <laughs> no, if I drove it, it would be down to the core. It's true. Look at the camera wear on this tire. You can just see it. Those are easily the nicest wheels I've ever They're seen. They're just horrendous. Agreed. The good news is the offset matches the car. So there's always a silver lining, guys. So stay positive. Let's go slow just in case. That was good. That's factory entry ride height. Life tip for you guys. The handle on a jack makes a great extension bar. There you go. Dave Pro Tip. Dave? Oh yeah! Hack! Life hack! Yeah, that sucks, man. Dude, imagine doing all this out in the snow on the side of the road. What, changing your suspension? No, just tires even. It sucked. <laughs> changing okay, changing your suspension on the side of the road in the snow. This thing is snowing, and this suspension's no good for the snow. <laughs> what? Yeah, it's not the tires. I have a Lamborghini. I don't know what I'm talking about, officer. I'm literally dying right now. Jeez. I'm gonna sort this out. <laughs> it's really stuck, hey? Eh? Bro, I try to do one thing for you with that mallet. Holy sh okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Make my hand bleed. Don't worry, I got this. Oh, you got it with the, we're gonna go savage on it. Ah! Did you hit your hand on that too? Yeah, I did. Same thing. Right up top here, you see that guys? So this here is basically just seized onto the car. So we need to take this uh, flathead screwdriver and this rock, and just gently, gently wedge it in there to kind of crack it free. Holy <laughs> Dave's car is a piece of <laughs> <laughs> you see it shoot out? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I hit it and it popped out and flew right at my face. <laughs> it'll probably play. There you go. It's blue. Oh, uh, oh, you can see, guys. If you look close. Oh, you call that. Season. Season? <laughs> I don't know what it's called. Corrosion. <laughs> I want to go home. Season. <laughs> hey guys, have a close look at this. So that's what we were taking apart. So the car goes in between here. You can see all that corrosion. And the reality is, is that this is literally the wheel well. So all the water when you're driving in the rain is spitting up against it. Instead of a mic drop, <laughs> now it's down. <laughs> The rest of this suspension tutorial really should come from a professional. We don't know what we're talking about. Go and pick up some Daily Driven Exotics merch at shopdde.com and make sure to check out dailydrivenexotics.com because if you want, you can totally free, join the DD community, become a member, and if you want to upgrade to Elite, you can check that out. We do a bunch of exclusive stuff for our uh, Elite members. Thanks for watching this video. Smash that subscribe button and throw us a thumbs up. 
these two goons might figure this out sometime tonight. Peace! You guys, look at this. This is us starting. Look what it says. Six hours ago. You see up in the top corner there? Six hours. That's how long it took. But look at this gentleman. Look, <laughs> look at you. Oh man, that sucks. You are a seriously dirty dude, bro. Look at those hands. Them some working hands. That's some man. working hands. But you know what? We got it done. And that's what we do. <laughs> oh yeah, Damon, no problem. Real easy. Hour, hour and a half. But he's got all four corners of suspension in. We just saved like a hundred bucks, man. <laughs> Peace. Sorry,